Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Monday, June the 12th, and here are today's top stories. The Crenshaw community shattered by a senseless murder. A high school basketball star shot and killed while leaving a party. Loved ones now remembering the young teenager. A car explodes on the 57 freeway, causing another car to swerve off the road. The latest on the violent collision. Also, L.A. Pride wrapping up with its annual parade through Hollywood. We're going to show you the sights and sounds from the event. Early edition of the KTLA 5. Morning news starting right now. Just, you know, the dark clouds were around. Yeah. But Overnight, we're seeing the area of low pressure system push through, and there are some active areas. Very, very Ooh, wow. kind of isolated with the shower activity. But yeah, that's a that's a beautiful shot, mm -hmm. actually, into downtown. And if you're out and about, if you don't have rain in your particular area and you do travel for at least a little part of the uh, morning, you'll probably run into some showers. We have it. That 20% chance, meaning at least 20% of those areas will get some rain. Uh, we're definitely seeing that out there right now. Inland Orange County, out towards North Orange County, reports of some stronger showers, enough to get the windshield wipers going at a pretty good clip. I know that has been the case. We know that Pasadena, we've had some reports of some rain out in the IE. We've had reports of some rain. And then, of course, in the high desert, those of you in through the mountain and desert communities, well, I would say particularly the desert communities, you're looking at a different forecast. You're going to have sunshine today and really not a risk of rain. But we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about your morning. Be outside. This is one of those days you still have to put on the sunscreen, even though uh, we're going to get a little bit of that rain, at least in the morning. And then uh, hopefully we'll get some areas of burnoff, right? But the construction projects continue. We know there were some that actually wrapped up a little earlier than anticipated. For now, anyway, let's take you over to look at a situation along this 105. They should be in the final stages. 105 East right here at the 710. A crash that's sitting in lanes. You see it, so those delays are here, but again, it could be a situation where they're wrapping up, last tow unit needs to clear everything, and the reason we're starting to see some of those delays that are continuing to form here, right? We'll move you over to a spot where that there's a lot of construction. 15, both directions. Sometimes they go a little bit late for now anyway. Alternating lane closures northbound side between Oak Hill Road and the 395, but we're not talking about any full closures. Just be prepared for some minor slowing here as well. All right, guys, back to you. Friends and family of a star high school basketball player are mourning his loss after he was shot and killed over the weekend. The LAPD now looking for the gunman, KTLA 5's Aaron Myers, live now in our news center with the latest details. Aaron, good morning. Good morning, you two. 16-year-old Quincy Reese was shot and killed outside of a party over the weekend, and now investigators are trying to find out who is responsible. The teen's father spoke out about his son yesterday. I gave me 16 years of it, and I thank him for that. And he did everything I asked for, 3.4 GPA. Daddy ain't gonna tell you no. I'm gonna get you wherever you want. A large crowd of family, friends, classmates, teammates, and more gathered last night to mourn the loss of the promising athlete and student outside of Crenshaw High School, where the 16-year-old went to school. He was set to start his senior year of high school this fall as the captain of the basketball team, his talent already getting him scouted. He had 50...